So Luigi and Felice, they are connected with us. So let's start from Luigi, a mathematician from University of Florence. Good afternoon, Luigi. Oh, actually, sorry, we have Felice first. Thank you for, for inviting me. Uh, thank you for accepting our invitation. Thank you for the work you are carrying out. Uh, would you like to add something or to tell us something more about what you are doing as mathematicians? Um, nobody knows what you are doing, but actually this is so useful. Um, would you like to give us your point of view? And of course, we thank you for the work you, you're doing. Well, I would like to thank you for involving us during this outstanding event. Well, actually, this project was started as a game, I would say, because the first data were uh, published following the same criteria. Uh, but uh, looking at data, um, it was quite clear that uh, we needed formulas and equations. At first, uh, we used uh, static ones, but then in the very last chart, you can see that uh, the equations were the result of the evolutionary models. So basically, you can see that you start from parameters, and all the parameters were used to best fit data. So once you have adapted the parameters to uh, data, then you can see that uh, the model and its solutions can help us uh, foresee the future, foresee the situation in the days to, to come, in particular in the future and in the uh, short term, but also in the long term. And all this made it possible, for example, to set a first goal, which was to identify the peak day, so the day uh, starting from which we would have seen the curve to flatten and to decline, which means a decline in daily new cases. Um, because if the number of new cases decreases, well, at the same time, the risk of catching the virus decreases as well. From this point of view, I can tell you that, well, as you know, we don't have vaccines or no specific treatment for the virus. So the only weapon we have, also from a mathematical point of view, is social distancing because social distancing decreases the risk of catching the virus. And uh, um, since we don't have drugs, uh, this is the only weapon, this is the only solution we have in order also to improve the uh, situation in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Felice. Um, is Luigi connected? We just wait for Luigi. Luigi, if you can switch on the mic and we wait for you. But in the meantime, um, Paolo, you, you said that you already knew all that and um, you, you have data. Okay, so Luigi is connected now. Can you, can you hear us? Okay. We can uh, hear you and we can see you as well. Okay. You are in Florence, right? Yes, I teach at the University of Florence. 
a mathematical faculty. And as Felicia was saying, well, we started it um, like playing with data. We wanted to understand the evolution of the pandemic, and uh, we relied on established uh, tools to, 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 to look at the future. And at a certain point, uh, we realized that what we had was not reliable. So we developed a new model, which is actually the model we are using uh, currently. So this means that by adapting the modeling, we can also understand what is going on and how the system works. We do approximations, of course. We are quite satisfied uh, for the time being, but of course we have to fine-tune and uh, to improve our motor. Can we see Paul as well? Paolo. Thank you for introducing them and uh, thank you for um, talking about scientific research because for many years I have to say that uh, the uh, research studies were not uh, considered enough so I think this is an important message. Um, I mean we um, want watch the news and very often we got the wrong ones or uh, people um, sometimes believe that uh, the central government decisions are something they would they don't like to follow, but we are happy that we had the chance to talk about data and uh, to start from evidence. And of course, we will wait for the uh, daily uh, data at 6 p.m. today uh, from the uh, civic protection. I also would like to convey this message um, Felice and Luigi did all that as volunteers with the instruments uh, we had. Uh, we had an opportunity to to actually exchange with other experts, and uh, as I have already said, we are actually trying to raise funds because we would like to improve our computing um, tools and uh, we would like to set up a group, a work group, in order to improve and increase the computing power and in order to support the decision makers with evidence. We really want to help the decision makers, but uh, to, to do so, well, this is quite a wide project and we know that the community is supporting us. Yes, of course, our community is supporting you. We will help you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for um, accepting our invitation. And of course, we will be waiting to hear data at 6 p.m.